Hey everybody, it's Robot here from Vespa Motorsport and ScooterWest.com. For all things Vespa, check us out on the web, ScooterWest.com. What does everybody need eventually for their scooter? Of course, tires, along with service, of course. And most importantly, you need to ride the scooter. That's very important. Something that a lot of people forget to do when they own a scooter. Uh, but back to the subject of this video, we're gonna talk about a new tire from Michelin. Well, it's kind of like an old tire that's been around for a while, but an update of a very, very popular tire. So the Michelin City Grip tire has been the staple on the Vespa GTS 250 300s for several years now. And I've tried several different tires on those scooters. Um, of course, tires are very subjective. So a lot of people have their own opinions about tires and what they love about another tire or this tire. But overall, the vast majority of my service customers that own a GTS 300, 250, or even the BV350 just go for the Michelin City Grip tire. Well, the good news is they have an update to that tire and I'm gonna go over everything I know about the tire. So first of all, the City Grip, that's been the, the mainstay tire for the last 10 years, has not been replaced by the City Grip 2. The City Grip 2 is just an updated tire along with the City Grip. Uh, first of all, it's a little bit more expensive and the most pronounced feature of the City Grip 2 is it has some of the new Michelin technology. It's called the PST technology for dispersing rain, rainwater better. I don't know if there's any changes in compound. I tried to read up a bunch on this tire, couldn't find any specifics. If they change like the silica content, which typically they put in a tire that's more oriented to, towards the rain or, or anything about the magic potion that makes up uh, Michelin's tire compound. Compound itself feels about the same. I'll talk about the ratings of the tires and the little differences, but the obvious one is the tread. So you have the old city grip, which is just the city grip tread, and there's, it's been copied by other tire companies, Shinko, I've seen some other copies of that tire tread. But the new city grip too, it's got like a chamfer to the edge. The depth of the tread, it may appear deeper, but it's still the same six, six and a half millimeter deep tread. So I suspect it will wear pretty similar to the older one. But the most important feature is this extra cut in here. This is very popular on all the Michelin Road Series tires, the Road 5, which are the motorcycle specific tires, been a very popular and proven um, rainwater dispersion technology. And I don't know how it works. Uh, I'm not a tire expert by any means, but you can see that new feature in there and they have a chamfer. So the tread has changed between the old City Grip and the new City Grip 2. Second of all, this new tire is rated higher than the old tire. The old tire was a 51S rating, which is typically for use only on the front tire of the Vespa GTS. The new 58S rating it's rated for up to 111 miles per hour if you're gonna get that crazy on your GTS. But um, it's rated for both the front and rear tire. So you can use this as a rear tire on a new Sprint or even the latest Primavera that has a 12 inch 120 70 rear tire. But the GTS is traditionally always used a 120 70 12 in the front and then a 130 70 12 in the rear. Uh, one downside I noticed about this tire being a higher rated tire, uh, the carcass is going to be a little bit thicker. So this tire weighs about one pound heavier uh, versus the standard city grip. So keep in mind that will affect handling a little bit. It's going to give the scooter a more stable upright feel, but you may lose some of the the quickness of your steering by putting a slightly heavier tire on the front. So here's the rear. Uh, pretty much identical technology, nothing special to report of. And like I suggested, this tire goes for a couple bucks more than the older City Grip. And of course, anybody that's had a GTS knows you go through two, sometimes even three rear tires for every front tire. Keep in mind, nearly all scooters are weight biased towards the rear, um, plus it's the drive wheel. They just tend to wear out the rear tires a lot quicker. Again, 
Not really any difference. Same, I think six, six and a quarter millimeter deep groove for both the City Grip 2 and the City, City Grip Original or whatever you want to call it. Same rating for the rear, which is a 62P. No, actually it's a 62S. So the older Michelin City Grip is 62P rated for up to 93 miles an hour. The 62S rated tire is uh, 111 miles per hour, just like the front. So you get a higher speed rated tire right there. So if you have a BB350, of course you have much larger size tires on the scooter. The 110 70, 16 for the front and the 150 40, 14 for the rear. And of course Michelin's got you covered for the City Grip 2 for the Beverly or BV350. Uh, I may try these tires on the scooter because out of my whole scooter collection, I tend to like to keep my scooters really clean, but my BV350 is my all-weather commuter. So rain or shine, I'll take it out. And maybe the added uh, rain performance may save my hide or just work better overall. And of course, reporting on the performance of a tire is completely subje su subjective on how you think a tire handles. And also, I can't really report on the longevity because this tire just came out in the United States. It's been in Europe for a few years. Uh, April, no, it's June 2020 as I'm shooting this video and this tire just is released here in the United States. And again, we have these available on scooterwest.com. Our part numbers for these tires are the 130-70-12 MCG-2 along with the front 120-70-12 MCG-2. So we just added a dash two to our part number for any of the City Grip 2 uh, tires. Uh, same goes similar part number scheme as the GTS tires for the Beverly. And one thing to keep in mind, look at our website, search for tire packages. Oftentimes we have very heavy discounts if you buy a pair of tires. And say you have a rear that's worn out on your GTS and your front's kind of questionable, maybe it's the perfect time to try out a new set of Michelin City Grip 2s and get the extra discount of buying the pair. Look in the description of this video, you'll be able to find all the part numbers for both the groups of tires and the individual City Grip 2 tires. Uh, hope that was informative to everybody. I know there's been some discussion on this tire, but now it's finally available here in the United States of America. Robot here from Vespa Motorsport and ScooterWest.com. Thanks again for supporting this channel. Subscribe to our videos. If you really love my videos, help my shop out. Go on to Google reviews or Yelp for Vespa Motorsport or Scooter West. Write a positive review. It helps us out if you're not going to buy from us. Um, of course, helping me out personally, come to my wonderful service department, help my service staff out. They are so passionate about Vespas and they love working on Vespas every day, every night. I want them to work like 20 hours a day, but they, they know they're not robots like me. Until next time, Robot here, subscribe to the channel.